Ready, let's... Whoa, hold on, that was me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it still has kind of the same... It's been a while since I've seen this, and you know, even even a, a two or three week break. It's still in. This is definitely getting better, but there's also moments where you could potentially uh, bring in the legs just to give it a bit more of an elegant feel to it. This once you get into this, this still feels like he just got shot, blood's coming out, and he falls down. I hate to linger on this, but. It just seems very out of control and not, you know, not as elegant as it could be. It still has that that feel. I think the timing, though, so you're saying here, I track the arc with the hip and change the camera position. The camera's fine. There's something a bit fast in your in your spacing when it goes down here. Can look at the spacing here how we're kind of almost flat here we're lingering on this space and then suddenly it pops down and it feels like it's a pop that's like this is your whole visual shape and it's almost the same shape going down it's not like your that body up here kind of stays the same with the shoulders but it's the head that rotates down first and then it takes the neck with it the upper chest and then the body would still be up here with the legs and so on and so on. It just, it's just not, it still has that stiff feeling. Again, I apologize for harping on this and just being so, so picky. But as you know, this being the first shot, it just doesn't, ha doesn't have that deliberate, smooth, acrobatic feel. And just given the overall timing, I'm looking at this from a mostly realistic point of view. It's not... You know, it's not super cartoony. I just watched that new Spider-Man trailer. And it's, it's just a totally different style. So I'm not going to, you know, like if that's your beginning, that's a fairly realistic pose. And that's why I'm looking at it in terms of, okay, well, that's your beginning. And you're getting into this. I'm looking at, okay, well, that's that's kind of the style. We're going to be consistent style-wise. But even within that, you can make it more, more elegant and push the poses more into something acrobatic and deliberate. This just feels a bit too out of control still. Uh, I line the feet to swing in the right direction. Let's see here. Yeah, that's better. But it comes in here. That's all cool. And I still like that feeling of that is swing through here. That's cool. But there are a couple of things here still. Right through here. That's the moment where he really, really swings forward. Um, no, I like can full like full translation, but like that rotation coming from up here. But because of that, this is where I would stretch out and bring the legs together. At that point, they were really this is the full on stretchy point, and then here you can start to relax. So there are a couple things. A right through there, I will bring those legs legs together. It's just a bit more elegant. Looking at his trajectory. It seems like it going, you know, going this way, but he's still kind of pointed this way. Oh, I can't draw. Uh, looking at, you know, that line of the body here, pointing this way, but still goes this way. So I really, really need to align that towards that. And it's especially visible through here. So at this point, to me, it seems like it's going this way. But then we have the legs going this way instead of really going this way, but then the body still pointed this way as opposed to everything rotated over and straight going towards that direction. So it's still watch out for that part. This feels better in terms of direction. I wonder if we change something through here. Feels. There's a weird hiccup right through there-ish. As you go forward, there's a little bit of a weird spacing right through there. It feels like it just kind of goes forward just a bit too much. But then here it accelerates a lot and your arc just flattens. Like it seems to go as opposed to having a bit of a wider arc. It's subtle and it's right at the cut. But there's something right towards the end where it feels like it's just being pulled down arc-wise and spacing-wise. 
And then something wobbly in this in this leg too, going a bit left and right. And watch out. It feels like it's pointed this way, but then the foot is rotated, tilted over this way, as opposed to this way. And even through here, you could cheat, even though it's like this, and you'd be pointed this way, body or this way. You know, the legs are slightly out. I think just for contrast, maximum contrast, you can bring those legs a bit more together. There might be some knee hip spacing you know left but the legs here at the bottom could definitely be closer together so that when you bring them out here it will have maximum uh contrast right now it has that feel still of there's space here and then there's space here and even though there's a bit more here it just feels a bit too like there's not much going on in, in terms of post changes And you could potentially also keep that one leg up a bit higher. Again, just to kind of push that posing a bit. With a slight arc in the in the body. And then you can always you know bring one higher, one a bit lower. Just a bit. I might be exaggerating, but then you end up being, besides the forearm, is pretty twinned. Let's see. So you're saying you animated the knees when, and he compressed also his feet. Uh, and again, I hate to be so super picky, but there are a couple things still. As you push down here, to me it feels like as this goes down, you know, there's more mass going in, so the knees need to go out. So yes, there's an overall feel of outwards rotation, which to me would mean that the feet go actually out this way. You have a rotation in right through there, I would actually go out this way and then ease in a bit more over two or two frames or so. It's a bit sharp right now, how the feet go in. And to me, they should go the other way. And this guy still has that. Boom. And it feels like that changed a bit. It got harsher. It's like as this arm comes down, it's cool. But once you hit this point here, of that arm, it just kind of stays put, and especially that wrist. This feels like it has changed, where that wrist doesn't change rotation at all. So you have, you know, the arm could still be lower, but if a change in the wrist, not that bent, but it's just an impact that I think you have more last time. And now it feels like it turned into an IK arm even more. Where after this, that wrist just doesn't change. And I would probably take that pinky and move, move it over just a bit more. It's a nicer hand pose than before, but it feels a bit too complicated visually. I think you can simplify that just a bit more. I think that should be fine here. It's so short. If you're looking at this in the, in the cut, I think it's fine. be super picky you can see here how that wrist stays locked and the rest of the elbow starts to the arm straightens there's movement in the elbow but it doesn't affect the rotation of the wrist at all i know this is at the very end but that's why you're paying me <laughs> so i can point things out uh it's gotta be very careful about ik arms this gives it that locked feel whereas this one feels definitely better And you might argue you could have a little bit more rotation of the wrist over this way. Right now it feels like that wrist and that arm is just kind of one piece. And you could have a slight change, a little bit rotation over this way. So we see more the top of the hand, just so we have a nicer silhouette with the thumb and the hands there. Gives it a little bit of a change. Again, super picky, but that's why you are sending me this. I pushed Venom's poses and changed his timing and worked on Spidey's jump. Same with Spidey, that's cool. And I wonder at this point you can bring him in a bit more and then they can go back out and do what you have. That's good, you have a full extension. Then they come in and then you almost feel like, well, they would still have to come in a bit. And again, it will, it will make for greater contrast. 
but then there's a bit of a sticky feel like you're going up pretty fast and after that you hit this upper line here and it kind of sticks in the air this in real time beep. let's go back here it's so overall much better definitely more dynamic but again you can bring you know one arm is maybe more bent one is a bit straighter just for um less twinning this gets a bit too similar you can potentially even push this one a bit more and this one a bit lower and a bit further in just kind of pushing the posing just a little bit more but there's something in the timing where it feels like you're going up and then it's kind of ee, that's kind of the feel it kind of flattens out and starts to stick towards the end and super picky that edge of that arm is right where the knee is and that arm and it's here and here as well forming some unfortunate tangents and even through there there's this weird feel i know this is especially frame by frame but there's just something about this where you could you know and you can easily cheat venom and bring it a bit further back so that the head is maybe here and then you can bring that wrist a bit over here i don't think you really need to overlap this much definitely makes it more dangerous because then the wrist ends up where I, where spidey was or I guess what you could do, maybe you bring that wrist just over. You might as well overlap more. And then that part, part of the fingers there. We'll leave that, smooth that over, and then move that elbow over. You can try that. It's either this way or this way. Venom still feels way too fast. The couple of things here, you're bringing it up pretty fast. And then you look at the nose here. Boo kind of stops and then goes up and then here the reversal is too fast over one frame where this would have momentum up and then he has to kind of go about it goes up oh. so that change of direction is way too quick for something this big especially this massive mass here so you can see how your chest goes up and down over one frame making this really really light and then you have the spacing of your hands starts to actually it feels like it slows down this in real time it feels very it feels very soft i don't mind this i don't mind the compression but you can potentially do more with the fingers a bit a bit straighter and then the next frame like this where there's more tension in them but that's cool like i like that rotation over but you want to show that a little bit also in the compression in the fingers so it's not just the block that rotates over but i would give this more time which it's fine for him to go up and then you have a bigger up and down, that's okay. But this is too fast. And then at the end, this spacing, you know, you could almost go from here and then the hand is here and the next one is already here. So you really want like, pow, and then you got pieces of stone breaking. That just feels a bit soft. Same with the other hands. There's something where it just feels fast and then slow and ease in. So you want to take frames out of that ending and put that in here. To me, it feels like you want to get this right, where the weight is really working and the sense of scale and everything. And once that is done, then I would attack Spider-Man to see, well, now that I have more time or less time, whatever it is, now I'm going to make sure that this looks real, real you know, good enough that we buy the timing, there's no hang time through there. I do like that he jumps this way, because it kind of shows that he's going towards the creature and wants to attack it. That's fine. But you can easily go, you know, and it might end up here, which might be potentially more appealing as well. You can push down and so it's just not going up, but it's full on. Yeah, I'm invading this and I'm I'm really attacking you. That's something you could push potentially. All right, that is it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.